It's a California motoring tradition that spans nearly three quarters of a century. The Grand National Roaster Show has paid its annual visit for the 20th time to the Fairplex in Pomona and celebrates its 73rd year of delighting hot rod and custom car enthusiasts from all over the globe. The show brings together over 1,500 custom-made vehicles that are showcased over three days. It's a gearhead's delight with a huge variety of cars that anyone would appreciate. Yeah, we're in our 73rd year, and the show started in Oakland, 1949, by Al and Mary Sloniker. And the show has been here in Pomona now for 20 years. So it's a part of our California culture, both northern and southern. Northern, a little bit jealous that it's moved to southern, but it's worked out so well. You'll see hot rods, you'll see custom cars, you'll see trucks, you'll see motorcycles, you'll see low riders. You name it, it's here. The show brings together owners who may have had their ride recently built or restored, and also is a showcase for hot rod and custom car builders to display their mechanical artwork and receive big accolades for their craftsmanship. So the shows so far, I was here yesterday and just walking around, uh, other people have the same uh, addiction, so to speak, you know? So yeah, it's, uh, it's good. I'm waiting to see what people think about it. You know, it's, that's the main reason. I'm not here for anything, but just to let people see the car and to enjoy it. Man, you, uh, I come, I, I come from a, uh, childhood you know my dad's been involved in the car world for many years um, I'm 36 years old a lot of people call me young in this game you know uh, but attending this show the Grand National Roaster Show I feel like it's the ultimate roaster show here in California for me it's in my backyard I'm from LA so uh, it's definitely a special moment for me to be able to bring some of my art and, and for people to enjoy it here at the Grand National Roaster Show. While this long-standing show has attracted a faithful following over its decades-long existence it's the young faces of up-and-coming enthusiasts that continue to move this prestigious show towards the century mark. Our story actually begins from the Grand National show, Roaster Show last year. We um, got invited to build a display for one of the trucks that was being shown. And when we got back, TJ, our shop teacher, and I put our heads together and we decided to start Willamette Customs because we realized that there's so many other kids who have a passion for this. And we wanted to bring that into our um, school and into our town and just give kids the opportunity to learn and find the love for hot rodding like we did. So this is a Model A 1930 car. Uh, we made it, remodel it, made it a 32. Um, it only took us six weeks and it definitely was a great bonding opportunity for all of our high school students. We got middle schoolers involved, high school, our teachers, our principal, everything. It was just a well-rounded project. It's actually taught me how to weld and I want to go into the Air Force afterwards and I want to weld for them and this is this taught me how to do that so now I can go and I can achieve that goal. The show continues to flourish with the many entrants from builders all across the U.S. vying for the prestigious America's Most Beautiful Roadster Award. And in the end, San Antonio's Jack Chisenhall grabbed the crown with his gorgeous 1932 Ford Roadster. With a strong turnout of both participants and admiring spectators, the Grand National Roaster Show continues to solidify itself as an important part of California car culture. Bringing you California motoring on California Life, this is J.R. Ibarra.